Good morning, folks. Awesome thunderstorms in the new Valley of the Sun last night. Believe it or not, this is slow motion capture and the default settings in the iPhone 6 SE. Lots of repeating ground strike backs follow the step leaders making ground connections. And anyway, it is the start of my favorite month of the year. Today's news will be focusing on the sun, short-term geomagnetic cycles, and a bit of weather as well. Right now, the sun is dominated by large umbral magnetic field loops above sunspots here in 171 angstroms, and yet we've seen solar flaring no higher than when we've got no sunspots at all. Let's come over to spaceweathernews.com and peek in on 193 angstroms. Very calm and quiet on the Earth-facing disk and around the entire star, actually, as you can see the peripheral corona unperturbed and clean. Plasma filaments are somewhat numerous, both facing Earth and incoming near the limb. Magnetic forces suspend those filaments, which is why even small electromagnetic and plasma interactions up there can set them loose. Solar wind coming down in intensity here as we are awaiting the southern stream impact. That one is likely to arrive on Tuesday. You can get some filament visibility of this wavelength as well on the left. Quickly coming to Soho where Mercury has entered the Lasco frame top right, set to swing around and oppose Earth heliocentrically. In a few weeks, Jupiter will be doing the same thing from the other side on the left. Interesting article out last night on the Equinox geomagnetic vulnerability, something most forecasters take for granted, but this study is showing it does not always hold. In fact, some years we get the double Equinox peak, some years it's just one, and some years it hits the solstice. Noting lows and storms in the top viewer locations gives us a convergence running up the middle of the country here, and isolated storms could actually get fairly severe tonight. Across the pond in Europe, it's the Icelandic low throwing storms off its southern convergence. One will jump as far east as Scandinavia. And it's mostly high pressure down under where a small low is expected to form and bring rain to the northeast portion of the country. Folks, the observer's event of the year will take place President's Day weekend 2018 in the high desert of the New Valley of the Sun. Check out the information page for more details. And website members at suspiciousobservers.org our Fly on the Wall podcast yesterday ran down the Mars radiation story, the new record-breaking comet due to the inner solar system in five years, and a lot more. It was one of our better discussions. We've got the rest of the world's wind maps, null school to the top of the sky, and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.